hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how you can um, subset uh, a layer stack file in ada imagine and conduct super, super base classification uh, so let's get started first you need to import the layer stack file so i have a layer stack file yes this is a lancet image of 1989 and of course this is lancet 5 image so this is a very large image so i want to subset it so how can i do that that's i'm going to show you right here well so for example this is my area of interest right so i i want to uh, cut this specific portion of this image so how can i do that just go to drawing and uh, select rectangle and draw a rectangle that covers your area of interest for example i have interest in this particular location so i just create a rectangle shape here and go to home again and click copy and again paste right so automatically in aoi file will be generated here so with with this you can easily subset particular uh, portion of a land city maze so what you need to do next just go to raster and click on subset and create subset image and this is the actually the layer step file and in in this portion you need to uh, save the subset image for example i want to save as um, subs subset image 2 okay so i just click okay and here you need to just click on aoi and just select viewer and next okay and click okay all right so it's 100 percent meaning the process has been completed so where i will get the file subset image so let's check it okay go to file and here is a file name subset image 2 just click here okay and and mark this and, and remove this no okay so this is actually my area of interest all right so here i got some features and uh, that's with with this actually image i want to conduct supervised classification so what i need to do to conduct supervised classification go to supervised classification but before conducting supervised classification you need to create a signature file so go to signature editor all right <clears throat> so for example i have five classes here uh, all right so yeah okay i have five classes one first one is water and agriculture vegetation cover build up area and barren land all right or yeah so 
let's start creating signature file so what you need to do just go to drawing and select this one i prefer to work with this so for example i want to select water body first so click here meaning this is a water body okay and click here next This is also water body so go to and select this one okay and click here and this is also water body so select this and this one okay like this so this is how you need to create a signature file for each classes you need to take at least 15 to 20 sample and after creating sample you need to merge them so how can you do that just select them by con clicking on control and drag uh, okay so here is a merge option click here okay this is merged file so remove them delete this section and change the color this is water body okay and rename is water body all right so now again build up area so this is build up area of course so one thing you need to uh, know about the uh, geographical location and of course uh, you need to have um, some data land use data for example what type of features is this I know this is really um, absolutely a build up area so and that's why I sample them as build up area well so you can take many features as uh, I just take some ram random sample For better accuracy you you must take some as many sample as possible but it should be correct okay so I take uh, six sample so I just merge them and named as build up area okay I delete all other sample and now uh, agriculture so I know this is agriculture so one thing you can do uh, in ArcGIS you can place uh, this image there and uh, you can import the portable base map server so that you can easily understand what type of features is this so i have the knowledge about the land use uh, or land cover so therefore i can easily understand this is uh, this is absolutely agriculture so i select again this is agriculture so <clears throat> i take another sample here
can take the sample. I take more five sample but one thing I always say uh, you need to take sample as much as possible okay so march them and then there's agriculture okay so the next thing we should do barren land let's take sample for barren land this is barren land, the white color representing barren land. So just click here and take the sample and Again, click here. Okay. Now three. So I know this classification is it's just a demonstration. So you must take more sample to get the better accuracy. Select them and merge them. And you can name as Baron Land. Well, and delete them. So I selected four random sampling. Mm, well, I could take more sample from other location, uh, but I think it's okay because my particular. Uh, focus is in this uh, area okay because uh, I, I have another shape file of this area so I will again subset it from there I just uh, demonstrate how to subset in Erdas Imagine well so let's forgive me because I did not take any sample from another location I just took sample from this particular location anyway uh, <coughs> So I just took some sample from this image for four plus. So for first one is water, second one is build up. I just the red color and this is agriculture and barren land and yellow color. Okay, so the color where I selected color for each classes. So what I need to do just I need to save it as a signature file. Okay. Uh, where should I save it? So, recent option. Mm, yeah. Replace it. No. Signature file. Okay has been saved so now what we need to do just go to raster again supervise classification okay so here there is a, a pop box and you need to import the signature file you saved it earlier so I just click recent and okay so here is a signature file I click okay and classified image where should I save it so I click recent Okay. here is a four class because I did a lot of classification but and it was saved here anyway I don't really want to save it or replace other classified images I just uh, rename as classified image new well so okay uh, click okay Do not match the signature image association. Final layout. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So import the class of elements. Yeah. We got our classified image. The whole image. Oops, I'm so sorry. Ah. Just go to again. I, I'm just demonstrating again. Right, this classification is pretty good, I think. Uh, anyway, so I made a mistake here. Uh, what mistake I made, I'm go going to talk about it. Basically, I when I conducted supervised classification, I input raster, I kept this one, but it should be subset image 2, right? So, subset image 2. Well, so click here and now import the signature file. Signature and classified image. Send. subset image classification okay all right okay and now okay it's going to be start now well classification completed maybe i don't know it's either completed or not yeah the classification done so this is this is what uh, I think this is really good uh, but it has some error and uh, to determine the, how much error or uh, how much accurate the classification is we need to conduct supervised class, uh, accuracy assessment uh, later um, well um, now this is our classified image. Let's see the attribute table. Okay. So well there's green color actually showing the agricultural land and the blue color is water body i think the water body is crystal clear and the uh, build up area representing the red color and uh, the yellow color representing uh, the barren land absolutely the barren land is uh, showing a larger portion but uh, there is some error here i strongly believe uh, but what we need to do, we need to, and uh, uh, we need to take some extra classes like uh, vegetation cover. So when we take vegetation cover, I think the classification will be much more uh, accurate. So this is how you can uh, uh, conduct uh, supervised classifications, and you can save this image. Already we saved it, uh, and this is the classification as well the water body is absolutely crystal clear because um, uh, for example this is barren land but this is actually chore land so when we talk, uh, work with this large image we need to uh, we need to take some extra uh, class like this is chore land okay so we have to sample like this uh, so I think you enjoy the video so I will show how to conduct um, accuracy assessment in address margins in the next coming videos. So till then, good luck for everyone and thanks for watching our videos and all the best.